I'm Dr. Joy TC, and I'm a practicing pediatrician for over 20 years here at Cardinal Santos Medical Center. I grew up in a very traditional Chinese family. My dad is from the province of Fujian, China, and uh, he and his friends traveled to the Philippines by boat in the hopes of building a better future. And that's where he met my mom. By tradition, we are very conservative. Dad has many rules at home that we are supposed to follow, such as sleeping early, waking up early, eating on time. And at a very young age, he made us work for the family business. And that meant working long hours, even on weekends. So I recall during my freshman year, we were made to dissect frogs. And I really find that uh, fascinating. It was then that I realized I wanted to pursue a career in medicine. It didn't matter to me if the years were long. I was just really committed to finish the course. And so I took up a three-year undergraduate course at De La Salle University, majoring in BS Biology, and took up medicine at the University of Santo Tomas and got my medical degree at the age of 24. During clerkship and internship, I was always drawn to kids. I remember back then, we would go to missions and I would always want to work with the children. And I guess that pretty much carved out my career as a pediatrician. As a pediatrician, we take care of babies during the newborn period, that's during delivery, and we supervise and guide them through the early childhood years, the middle childhood years, all the way up to the adolescence phase. As the pandemic continues and the guidelines periodically change, uncertainty lingers. So we're here to tackle some of the very basic breastfeeding issues which you may have. Though it seems very basic, I think it's relevant and it needs further clarification. Transmission of the virus during pregnancy or during birth is possible but very rare. Most babies won't develop COVID-19, but if they do, they recover fairly quickly and most of them can be asymptomatic. Close contact an exclusive breastfeeding immediately after birth can help the baby thrive. And this outweighs the potential risk of transmission of the COVID-19 virus. Actually, COVID-19 virus has not been detected in breast milk of any mothers who are confirmed or suspected with COVID-19 illness. Yes, you should continue breastfeeding even after vaccination, because none of the World Health Organization approved vaccines, including the mRNAs, contain the live virus. So it's very safe to breastfeed. COVID-19 virus is not transmitted through breastfeeding or breast milk, and there's no need to worry. We continue to emphasize the importance of breastfeeding, whether or not the mom is suspected or confirmed to have COVID-19 infection. <music>